Yeah. I'm working on time. Yo, what is up? It is your boy, it's Swigs from Team UGGC, aka the Urban Gamer Gaming Community Group. And we are back with another video trailer reaction of Red Dead Redemption 2 official gameplay video for the PS4. Yes, they dropped this today. And the hype is real right now. I have not watched this. I just seen it on Twitter. I seen some craziness. Everybody talking about it. Yo, like I ain't even going. I ain't even going. Like I did the trailers reactions to all the previous trailers that they dropped. I told you guys I will be covering this game whenever they drop any type of information on there. So we're going to do a trailer reaction to this trailer today. And we're going to get it popping like that. And, you know, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Let's get a discussion started. Let's get this to 50 likes, at least 50 likes. If you're watching this video, at least give it a like. And if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. But at least explain to me in a sentence why you gave it a thumbs down. That's all I ask from the haters. Or if you just genuinely did not like the video, you can just dislike it. Ain't no big thing for me. It'll just let me know that you still watch the video and you still supported the channel. Bam! Slide on. But yeah, let's get right into it, man. I got a couple uh, uh, reaction videos coming this week. Um, probably two today. Maybe a couple later on this week. I got a couple games that I want to, you know, go through. And I got another... I'm doing another review on uh, Dead Cells. So be on the lookout for Dead Cells. You guys know I played that in Early Access. The dev sent me over a game code to review the game and play it when it was in Early Access. Like, early, early Access. Now it's an official game, it's for sale, it's out on consoles, and the Switch, and everything like that. So I'm doing another review on that, and I'll have that coming to you guys here soon, shortly. But that's enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's get into this trailer. Let's get it popping. Let's go. 18. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You coming, buddy? In the late 1800s, America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living world that's not simply open, but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy. <laughs> Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed, and gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. Bruh. The game is an attempt to capture this Bruh. pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more. All populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn of the century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's hey, life and you and dope, me go rob bruh. a sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. 
How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. This? You don't want to involve Freaking with dope. Dope. Confrontations can be escalated like or this. diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. <laughs> in a similar way, like the this. bond with your horse is crucial and changes based hype. on the treatment of the animal. Can I get Hold some hype in the girl. comment, man? Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Oh. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. Can you tame animals like wolves and stuff like that? Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own yes. country, and I feel <laughs> I'm in purgatory. This, this is a world is that is I'm rich in about? depth and detail, all designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America, In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Oh, swear. Bruh, you can do so much in this game. Like, this is gonna be so lit for streaming. Like, they didn't even talk about multiplayer yet. They play didn't select even... online content first on PS4. PS4 Ooh, got the, the exclusives. <laughs> like, they didn't even talk about... They didn't even talk about the multiplayer. Like, can you just imagine a multiplayer in this? You, with your boys, or you could form a gang online, like a, a, like, a, like a cowboy gang or whatever, online, and do the same stuff that you could do in a regular game online. Or it merges the regular game into online play too as well like it is going to be so much stuff that you can freaking do in this game it's going to be lit like it's just basically grand theft auto an advanced version of grand theft auto in a western set in a, in a western uh set that's it like this is going to be fire bro like i'm hyped for this man i wish i think it probably if they got an online mode you could probably create a character more than likely because i have read their redemption uh for xbox 360 and i actually play it sometimes on xbox one and periodically but i have read that redemption 3 and i only play online but this is going to be a freaking dope game bro like i am i like i like stuff like this like i i seriously like open world games stuff you could just have fun in just so much to do you cannot run out of things to do and like i'm pretty sure they're gonna have challenges and a lot of streamers and YouTubers is going to be like trying to go after challenges and stuff on this. This is freaking fire, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, let's get this up to 50 likes. And if you dislike the video, comment down below why you did not like the video um, and ways I can improve it. Uh, let me know what's your favorite thing you've seen in this trailer so far. Me, I like the hunting aspect 
and I just like just the different type of activities that you can partake in is freaking dope. It's always going to be good content and good things to do and get money and just, you know, how the best weapons, costumes and just, you know, like I said, you got to feed the family. And once you get in the game, you got a whole family you got to feed. So you got to do a whole bunch of stuff to get money and build up a nice game. I like this type of stuff, man. It's freaking dope to me. Let me know what you guys think about this, man. We're going to go ahead and end the video here. It is your boy, Iswigs, from the Urban Gamer Gaming Community Group, man. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you support and all that good stuff. We are all over social media. Check out the video link in the description of all our links, all our discount codes, affiliates, everything we got going on in the gaming world. Stay tuned to us, man. Join our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, man. Make sure you check us out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It is your boy, Iswigs. Keep it gaming. Keep it peace. Keep it swag. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom, boom, let's go. Yeah, nigga, fuck your handshake. Yeah, feel like the last.